what's going on guys thank you so much for coming back to cobra tv and today we're going to be talking about no man's sky we got the uh south by southwest uh, award for best evolved game that we're going to talk about also some more details about gdc about what exactly sean murray is going to be talking about and then we're also going to go over a few of the responses that you guys gave on the last video that we did about what the other two updates are we got no man's sky online so far and then update two and update three are question marks and i kind of asked your guys's opinion what do you think they're going to be or what do you want and when we're only going to go over a couple of the responses in this video and then our subcast which i believe is going to be on thursday we're going to go ahead and go deep into those and talk about those big time we're also going to be streaming over on the other youtube channel uh which is cobra tv live and cobra tv live is going to turn into a more relaxed setting where i could just come on and either live stream a game or talk to you guys and just be relaxed and not have to worry uh about anything too much and just have a good place where i could go live just any old time and talk about anything but let's go ahead that's not what we're here to talk about today let's go ahead and talk about oh, what we're here to talk about today so uh south by southwest gaming the award for most evolved game goes to no man's sky next by hello games we got sea monkey down here saying awesome at hello games is an example of what a developer should be love this team go and i could not agree more uh i can't and we could go into a bigger discussion on why i can't agree more on the other live channel which i might be going live today might be on my next day off not sure but i do agree um this is 110 percent deserved for hello games uh we got no man's sky when it launched we liked it it had its problems and then it just kept getting better and better and everyone was saying oh it took them two years to to fulfill the promise we've been given things that were never even talked about in the first place plus you know all the other stuff and more and more and more and we keep getting more and we're not paying for it we bought, we bought the game once and it just keeps improving with things that they've never even spoken about so 100 percent 110 percent whatever um deserve thank you hello games for everything that you have done you are this award is well deserved okay let's go ahead and talk about the game development conference gdc where shamer is going to be number two on the main stage we got media molecule on the first you know the first act and then uh Sean Murray comes out uh as the second on the main stage and there's a little bit of uh information we got thank you phil cartoons for messaging me this uh, a couple days ago um but we've got part two no man's sky grit sean murray a small and unlikely team was behind one of the most ambitious and anticipated games of 2016 hello games sean murray talk, uh, takes us behind the scenes during the intense and dramatic launch of one of the biggest selling new ips in recent years he demonstrates how his team found the grit to deal with releasing an innovative and polarizing game into an increasingly vocal gaming landscape and details through determination and love in 2019 they have built to record player numbers and positivity amongst their most negative detractors i don't know this candid and open discussion will show the power of focusing on what you do rather than what you say in the face of adversity that my friends is going to be one heck of a talk and i'm not going to miss it uh it's going to be difficult because they do record these but then they put them in what they call the gdc vault and it's really expensive to get a hold of that and the videos end up showing up a lot long you know way down the line uh, much later uh, but people usually uh, will uh, somehow tweet and give details about what's going on what's being said take pictures uh, maybe some videos will surface but if anybody's going please let me know we'll get you on the show so that way you could talk all about it uh, but super excited to see this discussion I think it's going to be super intense and very interesting let's talk about some of your responses on a couple of the things we asked on our last video uh we've got pathalos for me the biggest current hurdle to overcome for multiplayer is the optimization i tried to do a video on my youtube channel with a friend from the agt touring the agt bases uh and the yahili quadrant uh, where we have made our community home 
The PS4 kept crashing, parts of the bases vanished, so we fell through and it was just too unstable to be playable. Fix this and we'll build Coruscant together. Uh, great comment, Pathlos. Thank you so much, buddy. Um, so we've got uh, Indigo Soul. I think one of the major updates will be portals that let you travel from one galaxy to uh, from galaxy to galaxy, hence the name Beyond. Ooh, very good comment, Indigo. Uh, let's see, the same way our character says HMVD22 has a multi tool. I really hoped we could have like a multi ship. In other words, a ship that goes underwater, runs on land like a car, etc. That's pretty cool. Um, we got a comment there from Cyberpunk, which don't get me wrong, we're going to be doing a lot more Cyberpunk videos. Um, I would like ship modding says Lupul ALB to be uh, able to make a Frankenstein ship from all the types. I agree. We also need more more room in the ships too. Sort of like you know, just more room to walk around, and make it feel like it's uh, something more than just a one cockpit ship. Uh, we got Jay Lint saying someone mentioned a crafted hub for all players, a huge planet where we all essentially live. Um, Jay, we have been saying that for so, so long, like more hub integration. I think that, uh, you're right. You hit the nail on the head. I, that's one of the things that I want to see. I want, if they're going to be multiplayer, if they're going to improve on that, if it's going to be no man's sky online. If we're going to be building these hubs and, and these communities together. I really believe that there should be some integration with that. And I, 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 re I really hope so. Um, but every spaced out, uh, everybody's spaced far apart. So we're not living on top of each other and judging by the sheer size of these planets, that is more than doable. Agreed. We uh, traveled around one, took us 16 hours, um, half on foot, half on a nomad. And just think about how amazing it would be to build a base sort of like Ark, uh, but with unique materials and minerals you could only get from specific planet types. Imagine seeing a spaceship take off uh, on this hub disappearing into the sky and just wonder where those guys are going and how long they're going they're going to be uh till they come back hours days it would be unreal <laughs> man that sounds so cool jay uh, especially if they had collected a rare material that you don't have and could essentially buy it off uh of them or trade or set off on your own quest to the planet that they uh that they found or similar type to bring back the materials for your base building, traveling across the planet's hubs, hub, uh, and seeing other players, the planet having its own set of dangerous creatures that sometimes appear from caves, huge beasts that you can tackle uh, collectively as a team with strangers to protect your home or hub, the dream. Jay, I'm going to say that that is one hell of a comment. That is such a an amazing comment. Uh, I, I think that, you know, throughout the years, I think uh, a, a collection of many different people here on the channel coming on the subcast have all said you know, similarly the same things, uh, maybe a little bit here, a little bit there, and you have a, a caps, you know, put it into one comment, and that is amazing, Jay. I, what a great comment. Thank you. Um, so we got uh, Andrea Pratt, I think Dungeons or Towns. Uh, Andre Pratt? I don't know, man. I, I hate names. I, I hate pronouncing names. I'm sorry. Names. <laughs> sorry, uh, Pratt. I think dungeons or towns since they hire a dude with procedural town and dungeon not so long ago. I wish also for something more substantial as rewards. Uh, he's talking. Uh, they're talking about um, uh, Sam Swain. Sam Swain was hired there at Hello Games. Uh, he's done many posts about his ongoing project. Uh, and he's working on a procedurally generated cities project that could be utilized in other people's games. And he he's, uh, he got hired at Hello Games and made a post saying, now I can work on my project and uh, have a steady income as well. And so Sam Swain specializes in procedural cities and procedural dungeons and things like that. So having him at Hello Games is a very is, is a good, having a, a very good tool in the toolbox um, so to speak, and I can't see them not utilizing his specialty specialties. I cannot speak today. Uh, Riser, the stars in the middle of the planets, uh, planets spinning round their star. We can get closer to the star as in uh, 
uh, Osuke is so elite dangerous uh, that the online all players can see that the orbs run out. Customizable ships, new base building elements, more ships and more capital ships. Um, yeah, so I think he's talking about uh, planet rotation and orbiting. Um, so good comment there, Riser. We got I, uh, Arno. I interpret the stuff coming between the ship and the portal as a slight hint towards procedural cities. Looks like a flight across buildings. It kind of does look like there's a pathway down there. And uh, uh, as a couple of people pointed out, it looks like there's water or something going over the pathway down there is too. Uh, so we've got uh, Guidel Kane. Good comment there, Arno. Uh, Core, I'd love, I'm sorry, let's go back up to Core. Core, I'd love to see them integrate the Galactic Atlas website into menu so you don't have to bring up a second screen. Now I use two screens, uh, but a lot of people don't, which would be cool. Um, very good, Core. Guidel Kane said, Cobra, what's up, bro? Hype Train has returned. Hopefully lots more improvements beyond just multiplayer and updates uh specifically to pull me back even more so q quality of life improvements uh existing feature enhancements base building Im improvements ship customization much needed i agree uh more planetary variety 100 percent agree npc improvements yes uh and more mission variety yes 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 all that yes god okay and great comment uh we got z zagur <laughs> You guys, I hope they finally do something regarding the center of the galaxy. Also, space whales. Yes, uh, I think there should be something at the center of the galaxy. You know, Sean Murray kept saying that there's something drawing you towards there. Uh, there's something when you get there. He hinted too much at it, and that towards the end of the release of uh, No Man's Sky before it actually launched, he said he kind of said it was kind of like a new game plus. You know, uh, said that for some people it'll feel like you could put the game pad down, say boom, I beat it, and other people to feel like that they can keep going. And we all kind of guessed uh, if you go back and look at our. Uh, some of our older videos, a lot of you guys nailed it. We all guessed it. It was, you know, just a way to another galaxy. Um, but uh, so good job, you know, guys, everybody here, the Cobros, for kind of guessing that. That was, uh, that's exactly what it ended up being. But I agree, I agree, uh, X, that there should be something more than just that to draw us towards the center. I think that would be amazing to have something there. Uh, so we've got the blur saying online, some physics, more stuff in space on surface. Uh, we've got Sire Dragon Chester fixed the performance of base PS4. It runs like shit now, 20 to 25 FPS most times, which unplayable. Wow. I never, I never experienced that. And I play on PS4, just normal PS4. Um, we've got F8L Dragon 2, gigantic alien monsters the size of freighters or bigger, uh, rare space stations that can wrap you to any part of the galaxy once you reach the center of that galaxy, very large asteroids that can be landed on, harvest new types of resources, create bases in space, in-depth custom ship customers. I think a lot of this, these are great, great comments, but I think a lot of these are wish lists. Um, and I think, you know, I mean it's the right on par right on par i think with what everybody is saying what everybody wants uh we got tigger happy one man this video is so nostalgic oh commenting on a 2014 ships video wow <laughs> uh we got <laughs> thank you tigger uh we got harris bornstein in the teaser video i think maybe the ship was perhaps taking off from an upgraded space anomaly it looks similar to the layout Ooh. Uh, good comment, Harris. Um, let's see. So, you know, we're gonna, okay. So we'll go over a lot more comments on our subcast, which is probably going to be Thursday. And then we'll come back that night, read through the comments. You guys can call and get on the show and we'll have a good time talking about this. Uh, be another old school format, be on camera and, uh, love to have you guys call into the show and just be like the old days when we used to talk about no man's sky before you know while next was getting cooked while atlas rises was getting cooked uh so i hope to see you guys there and don't forget to come over and show us some love on the cobra tv live channel which we're going to be starting here very very soon uh probably i don't know maybe not today the kids just got home from school and uh so maybe tomorrow maybe tomorrow or not tomorrow maybe maybe the maybe thursday I'm going to get off here because I'm talking too much. 
I love you guys. As always, uh, I'll see you in the next video. And uh, until next time.